What's going on, buddy? Damn, I'm filter checking out Sylvain Mork Locked. Live sessions in Paris 2019. Mork Locked? How close? It, it did. I, I don't feel confident. I feel like I'm wrong, but maybe I'm close. It's kind of a patron. Gyra, appreciate you as always. Hit me up if you guys have any requests. Let's check this out. Sylvain. This song is called Let It Go. I was close, definitely close. what the vocals sound like. She has the voice of like a Norwegian angel. Normally, normally, probably like 90% of the time, I would say turn up the vocals on both him and her, especially her. She's the lead, I believe. Turn, them, turn her up about 5-10% so she's a, a little heard a little or heard a little more. But here, with the vibe they're giving me, no, nah, this is perfect. This is perfect. It gives it like a kind of a very, an angelic vibe, like super strong. So soft. I'm digging this sound. Jesus Christ. Uh oh. Letting the drummer cook a little bit.
What? What happened? I've never heard harsh vocals that sounded like that. Like, they're really soft. Like, soft, harsh vocals. Usually, that's that's an oxymoron. Can't be soft and harsh vocal. Very strange. It was like a... A, a delicate... Harsh vocal. Like, again, those don't go together. Delicate harsh vocals, not a, not a, not a term. Apparently. Smooth, smooth. Majestic. Bring it back. That was a long little gap there to bring it back. Like the ambience. I could actually listen to this chunk of melody without any vocals for a long time. That sounds fantastic. Just the instrumental.
That was fucking awesome. And I'm glad that when they had that little stoppage and then they brought it back, I'm glad they just kind of just let that melody ride. I thought for sure, you know, like the vocals would come back. Nope. They just let it ride. And I'm actually glad they did. Because that was such a chill, just sound. That instrumental alone was just, just let it go. Just let it go for about a minute. Just let it ride. Let us all kind of like just, kind of just kind of sit back and contemplate life a little bit. <laughs> I know that sounds a little grand for, for just listening to a song, but kind of, like I could just sit back and listen to that on like repeat for a good 15 minutes just contemplating my day without saying shit. Everyone just leave me the fuck alone. Just let me listen to this for about 15 minutes. Let me just relax. Fucking sweet. Maybe, possibly, the softest, most mellow song that featured that much harsh vocal. Because that was a good, like, a good full-length verse. Like, it had time. It wasn't like she just uh, harsh vocaled a couple lines or echoed a, a chorus of a harsh vocal. It was a good, decent amount of time. But the whole song overall was just so soft and just relaxing. Like, really. Including the harsh vocal. Like, normally when harsh vocals come in, like when Ginger uh, starts doing the harsh vocals, or Tatiana, I think's her name, all of a sudden it's like shit hit the fucking fan. The whole mood changes. It's like a tornado just busted in your house. This didn't. She switched to harsh vocals, which was surprising. But the whole atmosphere remained. That is very rare. Because again, normally, it's a shift. Like a strong shift. Especially when a female does it. When a female goes from like clean vocals to harsh vocals, it's like, whoa. This was, this was kind of like a whoa as in terms of I'm surprised. Didn't expect it. But it didn't change anything. Didn't It didn't blow like the hair back. Perfect perfect for for what this song what I wanted from this crazy man and normally on this channel when you know it's a female lead singer I, I'm always even if even if it's a if the song starts with clean vocals I'm always like I don't trust it she's about to turn into a fucking monster at some point the way her voice was and the mood the whole like the song was giving I was like, I think it's staying like this. I don't think she's doing harsh vocals. Did not expect it at all. Well done. Well done. Uh, in Norwegian, yeah, I did my little 10 seconds of research. She's a, like a solo act, I guess. Or, that's what it said on Wikipedia, but she does have a band, clearly. Or is this just because it's live she has a band? Normally she does not. It's a good question. It's a good question. Good question, so I don't know, but hit like, subscribe, Sylvain, very unique, very interesting. Are all her songs this chill, or is this like one of just a soft song, and then other shit is heavy? I don't know, but I actually, for the most part, hope it's kind of like this. Because it's this is not a normal thing in the, the metal realm, this mood. This is a, like a very rare, relaxing song. That's not normal for the metal genre. If you are still here, then you are a real one.